Hey everybody, today I'm going to be harvesting some Cordyceps militaris and I'm also going to obtain some spores for a future culture and put them on agar. In a previous video I talked about how the Cordyceps I attempted to grow on rye, which are these ones, failed. But in reality, all of them ended up doing pretty well once I put them in the light. And in addition, I have some that I grew on brown rice using the exact same methods as the rye. So if you want to learn how I grew these, you can go ahead and check out my last video. Harvesting cordyceps is extremely easy. All you have to do is pull the cakes that they're growing on from their jars and then strip the cordyceps from the cake that they're growing on. Really, really easy. Then what I do is just put them in the dehydrator, bag them up, save them for later, put them in teas, do whatever you want to do with them. And the cakes I saved too, because in the future, I think I'm going to do an extraction on these. I have some of these in the freezer already, so hopefully I can do one of those in the future and film it.
So in total, off of 13 jars, we have gotten quite a lot of cordyceps. Some of these are really woody and really nice. Some of them not so much, but all of them are going to have the same qualities. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited about these. I'm going to go ahead and put these in my dehydrator. And I'm super excited to see how much these are going to weigh when they're dried. And I also have this one, which I am going to obtain some spores off of in a second. I have some pet food agar dishes waiting in the fridge. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the dehydrator and get back to you guys. Alright, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is take this last jar of cordyceps and with a scalpel and some pre-poured petri dishes that I've been storing, I'm going to go ahead and plate some of the spores from these fruiting bodies and then use those spores to start a culture in the future. Alright, so I'm under the flow hood. I'm going to go ahead and scrub my hands with isopropyl alcohol. Then because the inside of this is sterile, once I put this blade, which is also sterile, onto the scalpel, I'm going to go ahead and open this up and make two really quick transfers from the parathesium of the cordyceps, which has the spores, onto these plates. And then I'm going to go ahead and wrap some parafilm on these and incubate them in the dark. All right. So really simple, just going to scrape the parathesium here. And make a transfer. And then another one. So it's really easy. I'm gonna go ahead and try to show you what the parathesium looked like. I don't know if you can see that, but you know the cordyceps are ready to harvest when you see the little bumps starting to form. That uh, myco, or sorry, mushroom revival says looks like Cheeto dust, and those contain the spores. Those are called the parathesium.